You know, I kind of wanted to uh, touch on some old school stuff that I've seen you talk about before, man. Do it, bro. You know, I have seen that, you know, you kind of knew 50 Cent before he blew up. Yeah. What was that like? 50 was the type of dude that kept like a little, you know, and I, he kept like a little pad with him. And he wrote everything down. You understand? Me and him caught the plane. We was going to Vegas. And uh, I gave him my card. My business card was uh, Sidewire Fair, security, management, and everywhere. You know what I mean? So 50 did a song about that. You know what I'm saying? And he put that in the song. And some years, uh, uh, about a year or so ago, not even a year or so ago, he said that when he dropped my name, he said, yo, I got the sidewalk fair. I got that from Big Gene. He been trying to tell y'all about this puff shit years ago. But 50 was the type of dude that if you knew he was with you, he was with you. Even back then, he had your back whether you were security or whatever you did, if he was with you, he was with you. And that's what you got to love about him. You know what I mean? You ain't got to question his loyalty, you know what I'm saying, on some fight shit or if you in a situation. Because he going out. Well, I guess you were hanging around him or knew him, uh, you know, uh, right before he got shot. Well, what happened was is that I had got some information. 50 came to my house. Uh, I tried to fit him on a vest, but he I'm like, at the time, I was like a 3X. <laughs> and 50 was like a large, you know what I'm saying? So he couldn't really fit the vest, but I gave him a cover to try to tell him, because he had some pads, some vest pads. So I just told him what the situation was that I knew and told him he had to watch himself because those cats was going to come at him. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, he was like, yeah, yeah. And he was supposed to be going to um, Cancun. And I told him, if you come to Cancun, I got you. Because I used to be down there doing security at Daddy O's. You understand? And I had people down there that I had knew that was from Puerto Rico. And they was working down there. So they should make sure when I hit the island, anything and everything I needed, I, I, I could get it right there on the island. You understand? They worked directly with the syndicate. So uh, 50 was supposed to come down there to do a show, and he didn't make it because they had shot him up. I don't know if he was coming in the first place, but he was supposed to because he was paid half the money to come down there to perform How to Rob an Industry Cat. And when was the next time you seen him after that? The next time I seen 50 after that was at Jack the Rapper. He had blew up. He had blew up, man. He was like, you know, he was this dude and everything like that. And I was sitting in the, uh, we was in Puerto Rico. And I was sitting by myself, just chilling. And he had his whole entourage with him. He came directly over to me. He like, yo, Gene. I was like, yo, what up, Phil? He said, I said, what up, Phil? He said, what's up, man? He said, yo, put his hand out to me. And we uh, and he grabbed me, he said, yo, they can't stop what God got planned. Mm. Went on about his business. And then he blew up crazy. Crazy, man. Yeah. How do you feel about 50 going so hard at Diddy with the documentaries? And, you know, he... Uh, man, I, man, what did he do to 50 that made him hate him so much, man? That's crazy. Well, I think it's just, you know, you got to look at it like this. 50 was writing a lot of shit that made a lot of money for Diddy. And he knew back then in the day, he didn't know what he know now. But Diddy was robbing him. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, bringing those kids in, say, yo, like, yo, here, write this verse for me, man, for this stuff like that, and giving them five thousand dollars. You understand? Or or, or ten thousand dollars, and you making a hundred thousand, or two hundred thousand, or maybe two million off of it, or a million, whatever the case may be. See, people call that good business. That's not good business. That's taking a person's talent, using it for your own self-indulgement, 
and not giving him what it's worth. When you could have been teaching these kids, you could have been helping these kids. And maybe these kids would have been helping you at the point you are right now. So, if that's the case, he have every right. But 50 is doing this for the culture. You understand? If it's going to be told, he going to have it, and it's going to be told the right way. Yeah, man. And 50, he go hard on Diddy, man. I, You know, it's constant, constant on his Instagram. You know, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's pretty entertaining to see him be so passionate about his hate for Diddy. Listen, you know, how many, how, how many of your enemies you love? <laughs> right, right. I don't love any of my enemies, man. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone news.